So I'm just going to go start at the head and work my way down. Okay. So you can actually see the, the mandible right here. Okay. So the two muscles that run along the jawline on either side, these are the digastrics. Okay. Between the digastrics, you've got the mylohyoid. And then up here in the cheek is the masseter muscle. Okay. Now, in the lower portion of the neck right here are three muscles you have to know. Okay. They all start with sterno. Okay. So you've got sternohyoid. Let me get my proof up there. Okay. It's below the mylohyoid. Yep. Sternohyoid. Okay. And then off to the side and deep, you've got sternothyroid. Okay. And it's skinny. Okay. Now, on the side of the neck, coming up from the sternum, okay, you've got sternomastoid, okay, so that was head and neck muscles. Now I'm going to walk you through the four superficial chest muscles. How about for the, like the mass header, we're, we're supposed to know its origin and... Yep. And so the origin is the zygomatic arch, which is the cheekbone, and its insertion is the mandible, okay. That, when you printed that out, you should have gotten a table with all that listed okay. in it, so... Um, so you don't have to worry about trying to write it all out. Okay, so the four superficial chest muscles, the lowest one is the zippy humeralis. It's a skinny one right here. Okay, up next, you've got the pectoralis minor, which is all of that right there. Okay, and on the cats, the pectoralis minor is bigger than it is the major. It's the opposite on humans. Okay, so... This little division right here is the division between major and minor, okay? This muscle coming from the center of the chest, this thin one, center of the chest out into the arm, is pecto antibrachialis, okay? If I move it aside, what you're seeing is all of the pectoralis major from this edge right here to this top edge right there, okay? All right. So that was the four superficial chest muscles. There are three deep chest muscles you have to know. Okay, you've got serratus ventralis. Okay, it kind of looks like a fan, and it's in the armpit area. Okay. Are they? They're not all going to be dissected by teachers. So no, but they're all going to be dissected out. So um, we're not going to choose something that people didn't actually like remove yeah. the, the connective tissue covering it cut it out. Is so that a, what's it called again? Serratus ventralis. Okay. All right. Then you've got scalenes right here. Okay. It's covering part of serratus ventralis. Okay. And then you've got the external intercostals over here. Can you see this little boundary right here? Okay. Because yeah. so over here is part of the external oblique. I mean, so that's all external oblique. So the external intercostals are what you're seeing right here because you can actually start to see some of the ribs here. Okay. All right. So serratus ventralis, scalenes, and external intercostals. All right. Okay. There are four abdominal muscles you have to know. One superficial, the other three are deep. Okay. So superficial, you've got external abdominal oblique. When you flip it back, right here, I peeled up the edge of the internal abdominal <coughs> oblique, okay, and in the middle, in the midline of the body, you're going to have rectus abdominis, okay. Now underneath both of these, I flip back rectus abdominis, and the internal oblique, you've got transverse abdominis, and it runs underneath both and all the way to the back, okay. So four abdominal muscles. All right, now I'm going to flip them over and we're going to do superficial back muscles, okay? The largest superficial back muscle is latissimus dorsi. It's this whole thing here, okay? <coughs> and this is the one muscle that wasn't listed on your sheet, okay? But you need to know it and it goes under superficial thoracic, okay? And I have it written up on the board there if you need to know how to spell it, okay? Now, other superficial back muscles you got the three trapezius muscles, okay? You've got clavotrapezius in the neck, clavotrapezius in the neck, acromiotrapezius covers the top portion of the scapula, okay? And then spinotrapezius is the third in the group, and it's this 
small triangular shaped vessel right here. Okay. Now, it goes clavo-acromio-spino for the trapezius muscles. It goes in the same order for the deltoids. So it goes clavo-deltoid is the top muscle. Okay. Chromio-deltoid is the kind of triangular shaped one right here. And then spinal deltoid is the lowest. Okay. And if you follow um, where the spinal deltoid is going, where it kind of comes to a point is at the same place where the, the spinal trapezius comes to a point. Gotcha. Okay. So if you need like a positional way to find the muscles, if you don't know what's pinned. Okay. Now, between the acromio trapezius and the acromio deltoid, you have levator scapulae. Okay. Now, just in case they pin one that's been dissected out all the way. What I've done here is I've actually removed the clavo trapezius on the side of the neck. Okay. And so that's the acromio trapezius. And what I wanted to show you is that here you're only seeing half of the levator scapulae because the rest of it runs up into the neck here. Okay. All right. So that was superficial back muscles, deep back muscles. Okay. Coming down from the head, you've got rhomboidus capitis right here. Okay. And it's coming down from the head and attaching to the bottom edge of the scapula. Okay. Now all these other muscles that attach to the bottom edge of the scapula, that's just all rhomboidus. Okay. Now, if I move the rhomboidus capitis out of the way, okay, all these neck muscles in the side right here, lying on the neck, that's all splenius. Okay. Now, on the bottom side of the scapula, you've got a muscle right here. It's called subscapularis. Okay. All right. So on the outside of the scapula, you have three deep muscles you need to know. You've got supraspinatus, which means above the spine. Okay. You've got infraspinatus, which means below the spine. And then you've got teres major, which is this little chunky muscle on the bottom edge of the scapula. Okay. All right. So we're done with thoracic muscles. Okay. Now I'm going to walk you through the forelimb muscles or the arm muscles. Okay. Oh, All right. So on the outside of the arm, you've got the triceps brachii, and it has three heads. So if I ask you this on the lab practical, you have to tell me, you know, it's the lateral head of triceps brachii. I need all of it. Okay. So the lateral head is this middle piece right here. Okay. Long head is on the bottom edge of the arm. And if I flip back the lateral head, deep to the lateral head is the medial head. Okay. Now, also deep on the outside of the arm is the brachialis muscle. Okay. And you can see part of it when the lateral head is in place. Okay. But you cannot see all of it unless it's flipped back. Okay. So that's the top muscle on the outside of the arm. On the inside of the arm, you've got the epitrochlearis, which is this skinny muscle right here. Okay. And then deep on the top part of the arm, you've got the biceps brachii. Okay. All right. So that, oh, there's one more. So in the lower part of the forelimb, okay, you've got yeah, um, brachioradialis. Okay. And to your advantage, it's the only arm or, or the only lower arm muscle you have to know. So if something's pinned down here, you know it's brachioradialis. Okay. All right. So that was the arm. Now the leg. Okay. What's missing right here where you can see the remnants of it? Okay. Is fascia lata. It was the connective tissue covering that muscle right there. That is one of the connective tissues you need to know. Okay. And what happens is fascia lata um, becomes tensor fascia lata, which is a muscle. Okay. And you see it here and it also runs up underneath here. Okay. Now, the biggest muscle in the hind leg is the biceps femoris. Okay. If I flip it back, 
this long skinny muscle right here is caudofemoralis. Caudofemoralis. Femur. Think about it. Mm -hmm. look right. And if I flip it out of the way, and I'll get my protoplender, it, this right here is gluteus maximus. It's a little mm -hmm. triangular shaped muscle. And on cats, it is smaller than the gluteus medius. It's reversed on humans. Okay? So the gluteus medius model, muscle is this rounded edge muscle right here. Okay, so all of that is gluteus medius. Okay? You said which one's bigger, the gluteus? The, on cats, the gluteus bigger. medius is bigger. But on humans, the maximus is bigger. Yep. Okay, inside of the leg. Okay, so you've got two superficial muscles, two large superficial muscles. And you've got the sartorius on the top and the gracilis on the bottom. Okay. If you flip back the sartorius, deep to the sartorius, this little hot dog looking muscle, okay, these are the quadriceps. Okay. So the little bun part of the hot dog are the vastus muscles. The outside is vastus lateralis, the inside is vastus medialis. So the actual hot dog part is rectus femoris. Okay. And so those three together make up the quadriceps. All right. Okay, now deep to the gracilis, okay, on the inside of the leg, down here on the very bottom, if I can hold that apart, this right here is semitendinosus. Okay, directly above it, you've got semimembranosus. Okay, and between my finger and the probe, is a doctor for Morris. Okay. This one right here is a doctor longus. And the small one up the top is pectineus. Okay. Now iliopsuus is up in the crook of the hip joint. Okay. And it is this muscle right here. What is it? Iliopsuus. Okay. So it's in the crook of the hip joint. Okay. All right. So that just leaves the lower part of the back leg, okay? So you have five muscles you need to know. The big chunky one on the back of the leg is going to be the gastrocnemius, okay? Right next to that is the soleus, okay? Now these two come together to form the gastrocnemius tendon, which is the last connective tissue you have to know, okay? Now coming up from the ankle to the knee, you've got fibularis, okay? Right next to fibularis, let me see if I can get under there. That is extensor digitorum longus, okay? And then on the front of the leg covering the tibia, you have tibialis anterior, okay? So five muscles. Okay, and I think that was it. Yay! <laughs>